Hey, welcome back to Corey's Closet Connecticut Edition. I had to go to a birthday party yesterday, so I'm here in Connecticut. And I did not do my yoga this morning because I was incredibly tired and sore from my yoga convention on Saturday. And I just didn't have it in me this morning. Anyways, um, my cousin Maggie made me that lovely Connecticut logo last night after her birthday party. So thank you, Maggie. And, um, I don't have a lot in the closet because I'm at my aunt's house and she's redoing her daughter's room, which it doesn't really have many clothes in it. So I'm going to wear one of my favorites. So, um, I can't see. Let's see what's in the closet. Let's see what I brought. As you can see, the closet looks pretty barren. Besides some bedding and some old school t-shirts and some church clothes and some shoes. So we're just going to go straight for what we decided to bring. Here's a full body view of my outfit. Okay, I made the mistake of not checking to see if my camera was working. Okay, here we go. So I had to come back to New York to discover that my phone wasn't really working or it's on a weird setting. So here's my quarantine closet out for the day. It's a little bit more subtle than my normal outfits. So let me walk you through my outfit. I have this fun shirt from H&M. It has fringe on it and I have these shorts from Anti the Loft. And I have these earrings that I got in print. The grandma shoes are back. Yeah. So I'm about to go to Dunkin' Donuts and I take great pride in my mathematic ability. Or my mathematic ability. Alright. That's quarantine closet.